predatory. How legal. Tiny <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. $49.99. Thank you, Zentians. Good to see to you back. To be a rubbish of a girl, you don't make your own money. You deceive poor, pathetic, lonely men out of their money when you know they'll only get an illusion. Irrespective of the self-placating BS you tell you. Uh, BS you tell yourself you bring no, wow, no value to society. Your response to Zentians. Oh, he's talking to me? I. OF rubbish. Pr there's a, well, there's I think so probably. Months. Like I said, I put all intentions out there. They know what they're getting into. That's on them. Um, when it comes to men paying for things like that, if I genuinely like you, like I said, first date is an expectation. If you invite me out and we're going out, um, dinner, you pay for it. Anything after that, we can half it, I'll pay, whatever, if I genuinely do like you. Um, otherwise, like I said, as I've said multiple times, I will remind you of what my intentions are if I fuck with you or if I don't fuck with you. What you plan to do after that is on you. I do not go out of my way as I have multiple men in my back pocket. Oh, multiple men in her back pocket. So guys are getting mad that it's morally Hold incorrect. On. Let me just thank, thank Zentians here. Hey, Zentians, I just want to thank you so much for the, uh, for the support, man. Uh, good to see you back in the stream. I think we've missed you the past couple shows. I uh, just want to say that I really appreciate your patronage. And uh, thank you for the, uh, all the support with the uh, show's Zentians. Go ahead, Logan. Yeah, so a lot of guys are getting mad that it's morally incorrect, right? And so they're trying to get mad at the girls saying, oh, you can't do that. It's messed up. It's wrong. It doesn't matter. Like, you guys already know this. So if we tell every single guy out there right now on this podcast that, hey, yes, there are girls who will do things that are morally incorrect, but it is your job and duty to pre-qualify the girl you're talking to. What that means is... Hey, is this girl, does this girl have OnlyFans? Is this girl promoting her Instagram? Is she using it to, to get attention validation, right? These are all red flags that guys should be looking for. Oh. Devon Jackson super chatted $50. Thank you, Devon. A grown man inviting a grown woman over is predatory, but this girl preying on lonely simps is good for her. Address your misandry before the conversation continues. Yeah, we will address, so you brought up the, it's predatory for someone to want to date. An adult woman apparently but uh we will get to that soon so guys we will touch on the age gap relationship stuff we do have something from uh some recent stuff with leonardo dicaprio we're gonna pull up but uh yeah go ahead yeah Logan. so going back to what i said so it's just like yeah there's people who are morally out there trying to kill you right there's random people on the streets who want to kill you so are you going to get mad at a random person who's crazy who wants to kill you or should you be like okay this is this is the reality of the world this is how it is so are you gonna keep blaming women for abusing their rights because they used you because you're retarded? Or are you going yes. to be like, hey, listen, I understand there's women out there like this and I understand there's people out there trying to kill me. So should I get mad at people trying to kill me? No, you become stronger and you, you learn how to defend yourself. So I think that's the same thing idea with women, right? So you have to learn about women. You have to understand them. You have to understand what they're saying and pick out, okay, she said, she might have sex with me. What does that mean? No, she's not gonna have sex with you, bro. So a lot of guys need to just understand that, hey, this is the reality of the world. Don't get mad at women. Look at yourself, take accountability, and become a better version of yourself. Well, I disagree. Well, I disagree with you a little bit, Logan, that um, certainly on one hand, you need to self-improve, but if there is beh behavior occurring, which is uh, if you're taking advantage of someone or you're misrepresenting or, uh, not being genuine with your intentions, I think that should certainly be uh, criticized. Yeah, you can definitely criticize. Not, so not like, endorsed. So there could be one guy, and there's me, right? So there's one guy still in the chat talking about how girls are using him. Meanwhile, me, I'm like, okay, I understand this. I'm not gonna go onto a chat and talk about it. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to better myself, learn more about women, so they don't do that to me. And all these girls know it's only simps that are being played. It's only weak guys that are being played. It's not guys who understand the game. And you want to know what's funny about that is he keeps coming back and saying the same thing over and over again as if it's happened to him personally. And this is a thing with taking advantage. I personally am not taking advantage of anyone because like I've said multiple times, I let them know 
what they choose to do after that, I do not go out of my way to beg anybody for money or to take anything from anybody else. What you do with your money is what you choose to do with your money. If I want to go out and fucking give some dude five hundred dollars because he wants to hook up, then that's my money. It's my business at the end of the day. Girls don't do that though. But okay. If if we would some, some do, how some, do you know that women do. don't do some that? Do. Okay. I do, I do what some. I mean, though. Yes, do some do. But if we were like somehow we were able to see the flow of money going from one gender to the other, it would be like ninety nine percent of the money flow going from men into women's pockets, not women's pockets into men's pockets. But that's the thing, is men choose to do that. I do yeah, not. Yeah, right. they're all her customers. And if, it's they, their if choice. it really bothers them, then don't you think they would do something else rather than just giving out their money to random women? But but in relation to the TikTok that we're reacting mm -hmm. to, this girl, she had news articles about her. She admitted herself to going on six days a week. Hold Meet on. in Ooh, cheeks, cheeks, super chatted $69.69. cents. No real girl will ever take an of girl serious unless you know we want to smash. Real women will never look thirsty for validation and never make her man look bad but look good when put in public. So uh, look good when put in public, so don't get mad at us, real men. Be ready for me. Yo, Cheeks, thank you for the $69.69 .69 cent <laughs> super yeah. chat. Really appreciate the support. Hope you had a good Super Bowl, man. Glad that you were able to uh, make it to the show. Yo, Michael, thank you for the sticker. Um, so with what we were reacting to the TikTok, she intentionally went on all these dates mm -hmm. without any genuine intention of actually pursuing these men romantically. She did it intentionally to save money on her groceries, which I think is at best disingenuous then I, then I do agree with you on that if she did not tell him prior to why she was going out with him what she was going to do with the money why she went then yeah that's taking advantage and mm -hmm. i feel like maybe they should have connected with each other personally more prior to going out on a date if you're going to spend money on somebody and it's somebody you genuinely like then get to know them first decide if it's really worth your money because i'm not going to waste my money on a man who i know is not worth it because i work for that money sure did you want to come in on something? Um, yeah, I do agree because like she is being, you know, genuine. Like she's not deceiving anybody. So her or her, like, oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the girl. Oh no, like there's not a lie, you know. But like the girl, yeah, if she's not being like intentional about it, but she's doing it, then more power to her, I guess. I just so can't. I just want a bit of clarification here. So you said you're like upfront with mm -hmm. the guys, correct? But you're upfront in the sense of I have. You tell them you have no interest in them. Shut the fuck. Oops. Up. Did not mean to click that on my soundboard. Oops. Okay. I so told myself. To <laughs> um, this is how it works. I meet a guy on Hinge, out in public, at the mall, whatever. We exchange phone numbers, social media. They invite me out. If I think they're attractive. I'll tell them prior to. If I don't find them attractive, then you know I'll tell them prior to as well. But for me, I do solely go based off personality rather than looks when I'm going out on a date. So mm -hmm. when we get there, once I get to know you, I'll always I always have a final evaluation at the end of every first date. I'll let you know what I think about you, if I plan on doing it again, how I feel about you, and if this is something we can do or if it's not. Okay. I think the bigger issue though is men are being programmed since day one watching disney movies and hollywood movies and all these shows tell these guys hey even though she says she's a perfect princess and she doesn't want to date you yet and you need to buy her all these gifts this is what we're being programmed since day one like disney and hollywood it's all fake for guys and guys believe this crap and that's why they still believe this crap until at the point where they're paying you loads and loads of money right so i think there's a bigger issue i think it's the media that guys are being pushed to watch there's a lot of simping within the media um, and we're just getting programmed, so. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I actually think that some guys are actually really into buying stuff for other girls. Men like, like to be kink. providers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, some dudes right. are hella I mean, you guys don't that. seem like you like, like you that, might not but you know, that way, other but guys do. I think there are Take some guys that really like it. Like, <laughs> some dudes will just ask to pick me up. They'll just ask to pick me up, and they'll be like, hey, let me take you shopping. And I'll be like, okay. And <laughs> but who would say no to that? But what, what, like, who am I to say no? Yeah. Like I'll see? go out, or even if I'm out on a date with a guy and we're out, like say I see something nice, 
there's some guys that have just bought it just because I said it was nice because they thought I would like it. Or there's a purse that I like. I'm like, hey, that's pretty. And then they buy it. But it's all personal preference. I mean, right. And these are willing clients, I would like to yeah. point out. You know, like, this is a business that she's running in a sense. Maybe she's going on dates sometimes for personal gain. Or not personal gain, but for personal reasons to get to know someone. But at the end of the day, like, the people that she's working with are her clients. The if they're happy intention. to give her income, then, then let, like, so be it. That should be a problem. I do agree with what he said when it comes to social media, movies, and yeah, things Disney. like that. That... Some men are programmed that way. I, I think actually both men and women are programmed by Disney. Uh, I agree. Men, I agree. men are programmed. Yeah, women want this perfect fucking Prince Charming dude and all this fucking bullshit. So, yeah. um, a girl can dream. <sighs> well, that's where you have like Keep dreaming. women who. <laughs> I will. That's that's where you basically you have a situation nowadays where average women don't want average men. Yeah. Because if you're average, media, you deserve average. The like social media, it's put it out there to, to everybody give women wants, a thought in their head that because they have something that someone else doesn't, or they look some like some type of way, that they should expect more. If you have a shitty personality but you're good looking, you deserve another person with a shitty personality, whether they're good looking or not. Just because you're good looking doesn't mean shit, because you could be the shittiest person in the world and look fantastic, but I'm not going to keep a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you look. Mm -hmm. That's another thing for guys as well as look at the girl when you're pre-qualifying girl look at the brainwashing that's being done to her So what kind of music does she listen to? Who's who are her friends? Who's she Especially. following on social media? These are all things you have to look at when you're pre-qualifying a girl So if she listens to Cardi B WAP, <laughs> does she sound like girlfriend material? I don't know probably no. not right if she listens to country music or Christian music <laughs> It sounds like she might be a good girl right and or she just goes to church all the time so it depends it, look at the girl and look at what is brainwashing her because everyone's brainwashed to a certain degree right so like mm -hmm. if you and you, when you guys are looking for guys right you guys are probably looking for the same thing who does he hang around with right mm -hmm. what's his job who are his friends things like that so these are all things girls already look at and i think it's very important for guys to look at when you're pre-qualifying business partners so not even just women but other men in general who are they hanging around with what other men are they around what music are they listening to what are they watching, right? I can guarantee a simp is watching Disney movies and he's watching all these makeup tutorials. The dudes who are learning about game and women, they're watching podcasts like this. Beautiful. Okay, so you mentioned as an exception that there are some men who are into, they're into paying yeah. for women. The fin, yeah. fin dom, financial domination. Yeah. That's a very small percentage of men. Very I do small think it's a small percentage, but I think it's also comes from the background, like you said, like how the background they've been raised in. I think that gives that kind of kink. It's also the same for women. What yeah, do you mean? a lot of a lot of women who I guess. Can I have you tilt that oh, microphone how do a little I? bit? Like like this. Yeah, yeah, a okay. little, a little less, center it. Yep, there you go. Go ahead. Okay. So women who. Uh, who are maybe born in households where they don't receive a lot of validation, I guess do end up seeking other forms of validation, like sure. through materialistic means or social media. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so you mentioned...